every negative comment that I see, I laugh at, you know, when it comes to me. Like, it really has no effect to me. Uh, honestly, you know, what I don't like is the people around me, them being like, hmm. come at for that hurts me a lot, you know? Hey family, a quick one. Over 87% of you are consuming this content every single week but are not subscribed. That means you are enjoying the growth conversations but you are not liking, you are not subscribing and you are not sharing it with others. So please, I plead with you, please subscribe so that you can share the love, you can share the growth and you can share this wonderful platform and wonderful safe space with others as well. Enjoy the episode. I know. We can be raised in church, but not have a relationship with God as, yes. as, as individuals. Yes. So how do you actively pursue a relationship with God? Because somebody out there is a sniper and mm -hmm. they're going through, they're watching this, they're having a tough time. Perhaps they're in depression, mm -hmm. perhaps uh, because of the economy, the economy, they're in poverty yeah. and they've, they've lost hope. They might even want to take their life uh, mm -hmm. at the moment. But hearing you, because they see you in a high in a high value as a high value person, you can influence them in a way that brings them to God. Mm. And we all know that God is the source of life. Yes. So what is, how can I build a relationship with God that can help me have hope? That's beautiful, man. Um, first things first, you have to look at the good in your life. You know, there's absolutely like in as much as you can live it. A life that is unpleasant or bad things constantly happening to you. But there's always a silver lining in whatever cloud that there is, you know. Whatever bad things that you go through, there's always good. And for me, I know that God is good, you know. Mm -hmm. All goodness mm -hmm. comes from God. Mm -hmm. So I've had moments in my life where I just felt down and out. I was like, this is just terrible. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Mm -hmm. But then I'd always just look at the good in my life and I'd be like, that has to be God. Mm -hmm. And that kept me going. And the more you focus on the good, the more it just amplifies, you know, and the more it, 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 it resonates with your soul and more it helps you connect with God because he is just everything that is good. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step that you could take. The second step that you could take is to want to know him, yep. you know, to want like in any single relationship, you sure. have to want to get to know someone. It's, sure. it's, it's a two way stream, you know, um, you, you can't just expect God to constantly pour into you, hmm. you know, and to just ah, God must do this, God must do this. In order for him and for you to see other things that you've never seen that God does for you, you have to connect with him. You yeah, know? Yeah, and yeah. that comes with reading the word, you know, and just praying. You don't even really need to get down on your knees and pray. Like people sure. don't know that you, I could be driving. Yeah. I'd be like, Jesus, thank just you. say Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, he's heard yeah, it. You know, I'd be yeah. like, a sigh, he's heard it. Yeah, you know, yeah. just the intention behind it, you know, and wanting to connect with him. That'll do a lot for your life. So just want to get to know him and just always look for the good in your life, I, I believe. Many Christians, though, and many churches have made or influenced rather or discouraged people from seeking God because they believe that you need to look a certain way. You need to behave a certain way mm. for you to be accepted into the Christian community or to be loved mm. by God. Mm. Um Somebody out there, once again, feels like I'm not good enough to pursue a relationship with yeah. God. I've made too many mistakes. Yeah. Are there too many mistakes for God? Absolutely none. Absolutely none. I, I, what you're saying is actually a very sad reality. It's something that a lot of people go through. They, they step into the church and they feel like, oh, I'm not good enough to be here. And they forget that a place is a hospital for sinners. Mm. It's, it's not a place to house people who are per per perfect. Sure. It's not a place for perfection. Yeah. It's literally a hospital for sinners. Yeah. So if, if, if you're perfect and you're all good, what, what are you doing in church then? Mm. You know, because that's, that's not your place. Yeah, yeah, You know, that's yeah. not where you're supposed to be. God and connecting with God is, is where you go to if you want to heal mm -hmm. and you want to become better. It's not a place of perfection. Yeah, you know? yeah, He's yeah. the only person that's perf perfect. The only place that we can find perfection in is in Him. But every other environment, every other work that we might do with our hands will always be imperfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I don't agree with that notion. There can never be 
too many mistakes. Hence, mm. if you read the Bible, you'll see that God went and he ate with sinners. You know, he constantly engaged with sinners. He was never really, he was always out there trying to spread the word and spread the message and spread the love. You know, he wasn't really caught up in that whole, you have to look like this. And, and no, yeah, that's just my perspective. We're nearing the end of our conversation. Um, and this is something that I, I love to to engage my guests on a lot when when they're on the chair um what's that one thing in your life that you know for sure that i know for sure absolutely certain of and you're like this particular thing i'm certain of i'm certain about my family's love for me yo i'm certain about i think going through this period in my life just even proved it even more to me like you could do anything in the world i even in the house actually i was like you know what whatever mistake that i could make Mm -hmm. whatever blunders that i would make or like however much i'd upset people i know that my family will always be there um to hold me and to support me and to welcome me back home yeah. and they've proved that when i came out i was just welcomed with so much love by them yeah. it was actually insane you know um, yeah. i said my parents didn't know that i drank you yeah. Know? yeah and that was a yeah. big fear of mine i was yeah. like who i don't know how we're gonna have this conversation you know i, I thought you even had the conversation you know, like it was just passing you know yeah they they were just so happy they were just like we're just happy you didn't do anything you know that you were gonna regret who just, misrepresents who you yes, are yes yes yeah. you just lived who you are and, yeah, and that yeah. is absolutely fine you know they just welcome me with so much love man that's one thing that i'm certain about in my life and the snipers they give you 100k every month <laughs> The snipers as well, man. Yo, I never expected it, eh? Because, yeah. I don't know, there's this thing that you can feel in the house where you kind of feel when maybe the game is not turning like, like for you mm-hmm. or it's not coming along for you. So uh, for me, I was like, ah, people probably think I'm just this boring guy, you know? <laughs> and then coming out, I'm like met with so much love. People who are like, yo, you inspire me. I resonate so much with you. Um, they just love me. It's 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 beautiful. I, I don't know. I shared it on my Instagram story. There's a police officer that, that I met um, recently, and yeah, yeah. he called his daughter, and he was like, "My See daughter just <laughs> yes, yeah, yes." Yeah. That that moments like that oh, for wow. me is like, oh, wow. just wow, man. You just met with so much love, you know, and and compassion. Mm-hmm. And it's just beautiful to witness. It's amazing. Um, Snae Kotobe is uh, fresh out of the Big Brother house um, reality star I don't know if he likes that name yeah. but I think he prefers a sports broadcaster yes. whether it's still a manifestation <laughs> or it is in reality he knows what contract he has signed but that's definitely part of his journey that has been beautiful and it's so beautiful to witness what you're doing bro Thank what you, you're man. building and I can absolutely certainly say that the energy that i got from you from this conversation is that you're a person who operates from a place of love mm. you're very down to earth you're very humble and i wish you really the best in the journey wow. um in your businesses just in 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 uh, discerning your spirits around you and in your purpose mm. as you move along in this big bad Joburg yeah. that we are in so really i thank you so much bro for coming to the show and yeah, that, that, that's it. We can leave it. Man, thank you so much for having me. I, that really is one of the best interviews I've had. It was an amazing conversation. Yeah. Um, you really got into the parts of getting to know who Usnae mm, is, mm, you mm. know, and just speaking about what matters, you know. And I, I, I hope that God blesses your work. You know? Thank you, man. You're doing an yeah. amazing job on this platform. I even yeah. said it to you prior coming. Yeah. Actually, prior for the interview starting, I yeah. was like to you, yo... I watched your content. I was like, I think it's amazing what you're doing. Yeah. Unconventional. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what makes you great. You know? Right. So thank right. you so much for having me, creating this space, making me feel comfortable. Everything was just good, man. Thank you so much, brother. And you, I'll see you on the next episode. the epitome of luxury living. Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. 
this villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.